Wait. Um, hey guys, so I'm actually inside the laundry room, uh, doing the video, because I'm only sitting on top of the washer. So, I'm going to be reading in here. It's hard to turn on. Okay. So, you guys remember how, uh, last time, they, uh, figured out what that bird was. It was, what was it? Oh, right, a honey guy. And they saw this, like, Indian American. And they gave him a hun honey and peanut butter sandwich. And he liked it. And then when they got out of the forest, what did they see? Lions, right next to the tree. I mean, right under the tree of the lion, of their tree house. So, what's going to happen next? Because the tiger pounced at them. What's going to happen? Jack climbed faster than he'd ever climbed. He leaped after Annie into the treehouse. Looks like they're safe. So I am. So this book answered my own question. The last chapter is coming up. Annie had already unrolled the scroll. The riddle was gone. In its place was the shimmering word, honey. Jack grabbed the Pennsylvania book. He opened it and found the picture of the Frog Creek, Creek Woods. I wish we could get, I wish we could get, to, got there. What? And it's all smushed together. He said, just then the giraffe stuck her head through the window. Bye, honey, said Annie. She kissed the giraffe with the nose. On the nose. The giraffe's name is Honey? That's awesome. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It went faster and faster until everything was still. Absolutely still. Last chapter, the tenth. After lunch. Jack opened his eyes. His heart was still racing. Hyena laughter still rang in his ears. We made it, said Annie. Yes, said Jack, but it was very close. Jack took another moment to calm down. Then he pulled the Af Africa book out of his back and put it, in with it, put it with the other books. Annie put the scroll with the other two scrolls. The giraffe was the true honey on that trip. She said, sweet and golden. Oh, yeah. She saved them. With danger all around it. Yep, said Jack. And now we just have to... And now we just have one more with one riddle to go. Yep, said Annie. Ready? Ready? She started down the ladder. Jack followed. When they hit the ground, they walked through the sunlit woods. It's time for lunch, said Jack. I'm full, I'm full from our picnic, said Annie. Same here, said Jack. What do we tell Mom, said Annie. We say we ate our sandwiches coming back from the store, said Annie. What if she says why? Said Annie. Oh, just say we had a picnic with a Maasai warrior in Africa, said Jack. And he laughed her. Right, she said. Because we don't want him, because we didn't want him to be mad at us for taking his honey. Right, said Jack. The honey and the beehive that the honey guy let us do. Told you the honey guy. Right, said Annie. And that happened after the, an elephant gave me a shower. And we scared off two hyenas. Right, said Jack. 
And after you fell into the mud hole because you were helping a million wild wildebeest migrate across the river? Right, said Annie. And all that was before a giraffe saved us from a lion. Right, said Jack. Jack and Annie left the Frog Creek woods. <sighs> and started up their sunny street. They were silent for a moment. Then Jack put his glasses into place like he keeps doing. Last page. We better just say we ate our sandwiches on the way home from the store, he said. Right, said Annie. And if Mom says why, start, start, start it back. Yeah, start it, Jack. We'll just say it was a really long story, said Annie. Right, said Jack. It's like ten chapters. How'd they know? Annie laughed. Good plan, he said. Very good plan, said Jack. They crossed their yard, they went up their steps, and through the, their front door. We're back, Annie. We're back, shouted Annie. Great, called their mom. Ready for lunch? That's the end. Okay, so next time, tomorrow, we're going to have the best movie I mean, not movie, um, but I'm going to choose it. Okay, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, bye guys! Oh wait, right, my timer hasn't gone off. Because I finished my book. When I finish a book, I don't read the rest of the time.